Brooklyn Independent Television. Breast cancer. It's a woman's disease, right? The ribbon's pink, isn't it? Most people who get breast cancer are female. That's true. But it does strike males as well. And what about the millions of other men who know and love and often live with a woman who is fighting hard to beat it? Health Beat's Melissa Rose Cooper brings us the story of a men's group dedicated to helping those caught up in that battle. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they say it only takes one to make a difference, but this bedside group is taking all the help it can get. 500 men making a difference. It's basically a group that was formulated to put, I'd say, conscious, busy, um, community-minded men together to collectively work on community service projects. Since June 2010, a group called 500 Men Making a Difference has served the community by providing mentoring to adolescent boys and holding fundraisers for various community projects. One of their biggest initiatives is breast cancer awareness. But what's different about their approach is getting people to understand that this disease doesn't just affect women. Men are afflicted by breast cancer. It's not something you think of. Um, you're not thinking, well, you know, we're men. We, we don't have, like, um, breasts, per se, like women. But it is something that um, does afflict men. The National Cancer Institute says men can develop breast cancer at any age. However, it's typically found between the ages of 60 and 70. Some of the symptoms include lumps in the breast, as well as soreness and bleeding around the nipple. As with women, the earlier the cancer is detected, the greater the chances for survival. But with men, the disease is often diagnosed in later stages, so it can be harder to cure. And it had a picture hung on it, and a picture of a person who was um, either a survivor or who was taken by cancer, and their own words under it. And, and there were a good, I'd say like 10 or 12 of them. But the one that struck me the most, even, o even over the woman who had the mastectomy and she had like four or five kids around her, um, there was this dude, he must have been like 70, 80 years old, he had on boxer shorts and, and military boots. And he was, in a, he was a Marine. And he had no shirt on and boxing gloves and he was in a boxing stance. And the look on his face like, yo, I don't care how old this cat is, I definitely don't want to be caught in the alley with this dude when he pissed at me, you know what I mean? But he had a scar on his chest. He actually had to have a mastectomy mm. um, because of um, his cancer was that advanced. He survived the war, he survived breast cancer, and I can't remember everything that was written, but I actually had to stay there and read the whole thing. It was like four paragraphs, and dude was like, um, you know, he can't believe that he survived World War II um, and to be stricken by this disease that, you know, affected, you know, he, as a man, didn't realize that it can affect a man to the point where he literally had a mastectomy. While no one in 500 men has come in contact with a man suffering from breast cancer, they've seen special women in their lives live with and, in many cases, die from the disease. Darren Dixon says seeing his mother suffer from the disease for years wasn't easy. It was kind of rough. In my family, you know, we don't really get sick. We haven't had anybody that we lost through sickness or anything like that. So when we found out that my mom was dealing with this in 97, it kind of hit us kind of hard. I mean, she has five, six children. And we, at the time, we didn't, not knowing anything about it was the scary part. He says his mother always remained positive and eventually beat cancer. And like the other 500 men, he's doing what he can do to honor his mother and help others fight back. We want to be realistic and real contributors to making the disease go away. If we could make somebody aware of the fact, if we could um, spread some information, and whatever we could do, it, we could bring some kind of awareness to it, it makes a big difference. Evolve, like, um, when, you, when, you're, when you're running by them, they're all... For Health Beat Brooklyn, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper. They're all, hey, you know, that sounds... Become a fan on Facebook. Like Brooklyn Independent Television.